One of the hardest things for me to grasp as a game collector and really a lover of physical media from vinyl records to Blu-rays is the future is digital. As more of the world gets access to faster and faster internet, more people are just going to release things digitally. I mean, why go out to a store and buy something when you can just download it to your Nintendo Switch or a PS4 or PS5 or whatever? But I don't think digital gaming is completely to blame for killing physical games. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is partially responsible for that. But what I think is doing even more damage is the route that physical games themselves are going. The Spyro Reignited trilogy is coming out soon for the PlayStation 4, and it's a game I've been eagerly anticipating. I've never played a Spyro game before, but Spyro, the Reignited trilogy, which has Spyro 1, 2, and 3, all on one disc supposedly, is coming out next month for the PlayStation 4. You know how I said supposedly on one disc? It only contains the first game, the smallest, the shortest one of them, not 2 and 3. And this is kind of the evolution of a trend I noticed, mainly on the Nintendo Switch I've already done a video on. I kind of want to talk about this, think of this more of kind of an off-the-cuff rant, or kind of go, go over why this rubs me the wrong way, and why I think that the route that a lot of physical games are going nowadays are doing more harm to physical gaming than digital gaming ever could. Welcome to Stuff We Play, where uh, I'm speaking from the heart here, so I guess subscribe, yeah. There's so many great digital-only games nowadays. Miles and Kilo for Nintendo Switch, Golf Story, which I know is getting a limited run games release, and speaking of which, Sonic Mania, my favorite game of all time, was digital only until recently when we got Sonic Mania Plus. Here's the thing, I will support games digitally, because if they're just out digitally, then I, I still want to support, I still want to have those fun experiences, even though I'd much rather have something physically, I don't, you know, truly feel like I have something physically unless I can truly grab it, grasp it in my hands, feel it. And that's great, I love being able to do that, but one of the scummiest things in gaming nowadays is download code. I'm talking about selling a physical game collection, or even just a physical game, and not putting a disc or cartridge in there, but only a download code. I'd say Capcom is the absolute worst at this, and they're definitely the ones who pioneered this. Perhaps them or Square Enix, who did this on the Vita with Final Fantasy X and X2, where Final Fantasy X2 on Vita could only be downloaded using a code which came in the box. Resident Evil Revelations Collection. Revelations 2? Download only. The Mega Man Legacy Collections and X Legacy Collections? Legacy Collection 2 on both of those? Download only, which is even worse when you realize that the Mega Man X Legacy Collections on Nintendo Switch both had physical releases separately in Japan. So I thought this was relegated to the Switch, especially since the PS4 and Xbox One use Blu-rays, which can, which can store a ton, I mean an absolute ton of stuff. But for some reason with Spyro, the Reignited Trilogy, Remakes of games from the 90s, and they can only fit the first one on a disc. Now, I've been watching my buddy Jordan Fringe's channel. He's actually been covering this trilogy in depth. He's a huge Spyro guy. If you like Spyro, that's your guy right there. Or, I guess, your bro, to quote his intro. And one thing that he's noticed about this trilogy is that they, aren't act they don't actually have the Spyro source code like they do with the Crash Insane trilogy. They're having to do this thing called Spyroscope, where it's the old games running in the background built on top of that. But even then, there's no excuse for this. This is a PS4 game, and I'm not saying do multiple discs, no, but these are remakes of older games. There has to be some way that they could compress them down. More than anything else, this seems kind of like an attack on physical gaming, I'd say. Because if you buy this disc, if you want all three of these games, you're just getting the one. You have to download them. Well, why, why do that? If you really want to be able to have the complete package and just play them all at once, then you're better off just downloading the game from PSN. It really rubs me the wrong way, and you know, as someone who wants to experience Spyro, I, I'm now definitely not picking up that game physically or digitally, because I'm just, it just leaves such a bad taste in my mouth. I want to have all of these games available. If Nintendo Switch's online service ever goes up, down, or if PSN ever dies, 50 years from now, if I still have a working PS4 and a disc that isn't scratched to hell, I want to still be able to pop in Spyro Reignited Trilogy and play all three of these games. But that's just not possible. And I guess before I end off and before I stop rambling, there is one more thing I guess I want to note with this. And it kind of just crossed my mind before I filmed this. What's stopping you from, say, 
going, say, let, let's say, use the Mega Man X Legacy Collection, for example. Now, what stopped me from buying the Nintendo Switch version new from a GameStop or EB Games or, you know, your local game store of choice, redeeming the code for Mega Man X Legacy Collection 2 on my Switch, popping that code back into the box, and returning it. At that point, I've gotten a game for free, and they're going to be selling a game that I return to some new things are getting both games, but instead is getting screwed. It's, it's just... It's a lose-lose for everyone. It's killing physical games, it's driving more people towards digital games, which I guess if that's their, their point, I guess that's a win. If I want a game easy, you know, to access as easy as possible to access, of course I'll buy it digitally. But if there's a game I really love, or if there's a game that I really want to show off, even if I can emulate something, like an older game, I want to have it physically so I can show it to you. So I can be like, this is what it looks like. This is what it's like to hold in your hand to say, yes, I actually own this game, or this record, or this Blu-ray, or this Laserdisc, or this DVD, or even this VHS tape. Physical media, I know, doesn't last forever, and neither does digital, but at the very least, there's more, there's literal tangibility with physical media. And by selling me something physically, and by only giving me part of it physically, and locking some of it behind a download code, then you're just, well, I'll be honest, you're scamming me. I, I got a little uh, emotional on there, wow. <laughs> I don't usually do rant videos like this, but as I said, once again from Jordan's channel, uh, great dude, seriously, go go watch him. He's such a great guy. Uh, when, when I saw him actually mention this about the Reignited trilogy that some of them were only on the disc, I, I've never even played Spyro before, but these are games that so many people are looking forward to that just pisses me off because this is an issue I, I noticed, you know, I thought it was only relegated to like the Switch and Vita, but now it's spreading to the PS4 and I feel like as time goes on, this is only going to become more prevalent of an issue. So uh, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think, what, what do you think about physical gaming media? Do you think it's on the way out? Do you think that physical media is indeed doing more damage to itself by practices like this than digital media is? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And, you know, agree or disagree, let me know what you think, just as long as it's civil. If you insult my beard or something, I, I am just going to block you. But, anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching. Stay classy. This is really different than what I usually do, but I had to get it out there. So, uh, thank you, and I'll see you next time.